Welcome in to Taco Bowler Gaming. My name is Taco Bowler, and today we are going to begin our first game in Europa Universalis 1.31, the Majapahit update, but also the massive change to North America update. Uh, we are playing as the Cherokee. Uh, this is what won the poll, so that's why we're, we're doing it. But the Cherokee have drastically changed from uh, previous versions. So I think that the League of Average Gaming uploaded it to YouTube. If, if he did, I'm going to link in the description a playthrough of this very same run playing as the Cherokee from before so you can see the difference. Uh, this is massively different. I do not promise that we are going to be successful in this attempt. I truly do not. Uh, but we are going to try. That is uh, the big the big thing here, right? We're going to try. Um, I wasn't really that much of a player. Oh, I do have Tribal Border Feud. Um, really wasn't that much of a player in the New World in previous patches, so I don't think I'm going to be this time <laughs> either, but they did make it a little bit more interesting. I will give them that. Um, so let's explain a little bit about the new world here. We are the Cherokee. We own this one province. We have a lot of buildings that we can build. Some of these can move, some of them cannot, and I don't really know. Uh, how that works. What can move those unique buildings? I think we're supposed to build those first. Fortified house, um, things like that. Irrigation, I know, is is very good. Projects of zone of control. Okay. Okay, so that's basically your fort. There's another unique building. And force limit. Ooh, that's good. So, um, yeah, we have these buildings that are here. Um, and then we have our units. Our units are actually cheaper. This is only five. Um, so they're a little bit cheaper than the normal. But we also are currently the owner of this province here, the tribal land of the Cherokee. So you can see uncolonized land, but the Cherokee have it. And I can migrate there for, I think, military points? 50 military power. Uh, and then, uh, this would be tribal land, and I would have moved here. Whilst I am on a bit of land, I gain devastation by tribal grazing. And once that gets to a certain level, I will get a pop-up that says, hey, you need to migrate. Uh, because if the devastation gets too large, then we actually um, we actually lose development uh, in our tribal land. Once we migrate, excuse me, we can gain development as we as we move and things uh, like that. Cherokee are don't look to be that strong. And fi only five development. Um, well, I guess eight and eight development. Um, but the fact that we only have this one, I think this gives me something. Um, just passively, but I don't know for sure. The fact that we only have this one and most of our, our uh, surrounding people here have more than one. Like this one has five. Um, Jora has one, two, three. So, like, that to me... Not cool, but uh, we shall see. I'm going to try my best, and uh, I might be passive. I don't know. Uh, but our goal, and this has also changed, is to reform by just getting to Tier 5. If we can get to Tier 5, uh, then we can reform into whatever we want. We do not have to wait for the Europeans. And once we reform, all of the land that we have claimed as our tribal land becomes 
cord actual property. Um, so our color would, would do both of these. These guys would be all of this. Uh, so as we fight, we can fight uh, wars and things and actually um, claim this for like five war score. When, it was, when I was a colonizer, it was five war score. Um, so, you know, take that for what it's worth there. Um, but yeah, we can actually, you know, take this in war and say, no, this is my land. Um, and they can, of course, attack for ours. Uh, the other thing is that we want to have federations. So I just formed a federation before I started here. And this is the big one. All federation members will be integrated. Government rank of Cherokee changes to kingdom, and we get the increased centralization. Uh, you need seven or more federation advancements to enact that. So you have to get, like, the rest of these. Um, but we have enable offensive wars. This essentially gives the, the federation leader a... Uh, revoked privilege for all the members of the Federation. It's really, really big. Um, you have, you know, grain deposits. You get development growth goes. Uh, Federation favor growth. That's really nice. Probably the first one we should do. Um, local goods produced. Attrition for enemies. Institution spread and settle cost. So, yeah. With offensive wars and... Um, You know, things like that. Uh, attrition for enemies. This is no longer a defensive idea. Now, I named mine Free Tacos because I'm Taco Bowler. We only currently have one uh, nation in it. We are going to have a few allies. We can get a couple of allies at least. There we go. Uh, and so we are going to take these guys as our ally. And so we now have this as an ally and that as an ally. And I doubt that we can invite them to Federation. So we are now just simply going to invite as many to Federation as we can. Uh, all right, we can invite them to Federation. I'm not sure why it says the Cherokee Federation. This should still be free tacos. And no one else willing to join our federation. All right. Then let's get to this point where we have all of our people here. Worrisome. Let's go ahead and increase with our allies. Eventually. There we go. And we will get to December 11th. And we can declare war and let's see who we've got here. They're allied to my ally. Oh, I, they're allied to a member of my federation. Okay. Oh, well. Then we can't do that. You. You have two allies. And they will definitely join their Federation members. So that's a big new. No. And you. How about you? You have no one. Alright, so our war goal is show superiority. We have a slight problem that we have no army brow though. All right. I have no diplomats to set. I can change that. All right. Let's hope that they don't move. They're moving. Um, oh, they... They would accept a call to arms. But apparently I cannot call them to arms. I can't promise land? Okay. Um, I want military access, please. 
because I would like to run away. Um, you, would you give me military access? You would. Well, let's walk over here. <laughs> that one guy is about to get crushed. Put up a fight! Good. Alright, so they actually have uh, much better stuff here. I wonder why. They have a fort level of one, so it's not that. Let's walk back to where we can attack. Um, let's wait one more monthly tick. And then we have to go. We will be defending. We are grasslands. But we will be defending. And admittedly, they are retreating don't know where they are retreating to. That's interesting. If I can, I would like one more. Get over here. I should have checked to see if I had a... I have a discipline. I should hire that person. I should definitely hire that person. Alright, we could be at force limit right now. If we are at force limit, that's a mission fulfilled! Build the force limit, yay! Uh, there was a couple of other things being more powerful than our neighbors, but... Uh, we have built the force limit, that's morale of armies, and land maintenance modifier. And I want to say we, we made it so that they could not have that be the case for them. All right, so here's the question. How much are we here? 0 0.60. What is the maintenance on this? 0.7 per month? I think we can go one over. Without too much of a problem. That's good. All right, let's go. Oh, here we go. We are stronger than our, our neighbors. Perfect. Morale of armies, plus 10. And I think you, you just hope that by the time you're done with the uh, morale problems, we're good. We are losing point two because they're stronger than the Federation leader. How are they stronger? than me. And they're barely. But once we have this land, I think we'll be we'll be okay. Alright, we need to keep four on. We can take three off. Go ahead and bring them back over here. Um, I don't need uh, military access through you now. So this should work out well. Okay, that was a little bit of a risk, but I think it wound up working out. Will anyone join my Federation now? No. In part because I'm more powerful. Interesting. Okay, so they will. Alright, so I need to go to Invite to Federation. That's that's the one that matters here. Okay. And we need to check that. It looks like every 
five years, so we need to check it in 1449. I wish that we could set up, like, custom timers or something like that. I have no idea where their army went, or if they even still have an army. They've got an army somewhere. So we need to figure out what... Um, what this actually is going to wind up looking like. In the peace deal, there we go. Um, so I know I can take this for sure. I cannot make that a core because I cannot actually move there. So I can just take the tribal land. So I cannot... Um, I cannot take that land. Okay. And attacking with the border feud, I cannot do any of this. Okay. So yeah, the tribal border feud would only be this, which does mean had we lost the war, we would have only lost this one province. I think. But it does say that they will no longer exist after the war. I, I think you will. It's not a full annexation. But give me some money. That's a, I think that's a bug. But it'll be okay. Alright. We're going to send that demand. And so now... A couple of things. First off, what is our force limit? It's still seven. But now this is Cherokee. So what I want to do is actually to move down here and migrate down there. So I'm going to migrate to here. And then I'm going to migrate to here. And then I'm going to migrate to here. And now I can click this button to add it as tribal land. So right now, I still have this, this, and this. That's all still tribal land. But now I have nine development, and I have it here. And when I get 50 military power, I can migrate over here and do the same, or I can go here. So that is very, very good. And I think that I still will have the tribal border feud and all of them, but I will have gained it against these guys um, eventually. Now, let's go here and do invite to federation. And as soon as I get this guy back, we should be able to invite the Mohawk. Where are the Mohawk? Way up there, doesn't really matter. And you would as well, but um, it'd be a really nice one to have. And then I think these guys are the ones I already have in the faction. Faction. Federation. Yep. So, I mean, it's going down because of this strength modifier it's only based on manpower well that's interesting all right well let's move down here so yeah i now have tribal border feud there and i still have it up here i have an unassigned merchant uh can i no longer go from ohio I should be able to go from Ohio. Okay. Well, I have nowhere else to put the merchant. So, of course, he's unused. Alright, well. Um, let's bring you down here. If this goes to zero, then I have problems. 
Oh, but I think it's going up now. So that's good. Ah, yes, advisors. Let's get rid of that advisor. Is it day? All right. So, um, I think. Let's see. We have the tribal border feud. I can't get any others, right? So, if I want to actually take it, I have to go no CB. Okay. Well, is what it is. You guys are all together. So, it'll be a little while before we can take that, but that is what we're doing. I wish that there was some kind of map mode that um, allowed us to see all this. I suspect there should be somewhere, but, um, you know, we'll, we'll see another time. It's not in any of the map modes that I have been able to find. Um... I think it's just, well, we have federations. Player, nope, that doesn't work. Geographical? Nope, there should be a map mode there somewhere where we can kind of get a little bit more of a shade to these, um, to these areas. But uh, for now, I think we'll be okay. Um, our development is there. It is now at nine, so we have grown a little bit, and I think I'm going to call the episode. I hope you have enjoyed this first episode. If you did, please do like, please do comment, please do subscribe down below. I hope it was about the right time. I forgot to set my timer. Uh, and I will be back in the next one. See you then.